Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Jesse DePlantis here. I hope you're enjoying our YouTube videos. That's why you don't want to miss anything. So like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you will know when new content has been posted. That's like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So right now, watch this and be blessed. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Justin Fannis. Thank you for tuning in to Faith the Facts. First, I want to start by saying happy Thanksgiving to all you wonderful people that are watching this in the United States. And if you don't have a Thanksgiving day in another country, just make one for yourself. So what do y'all do on Thanksgiving? Well, we get all the family together and we, and we have a big meal. We cook turkey and dressing and you name it and all that kind of stuff. Now, we the South Louisiana Cajun people. We got a little gumbo too. We got to have a little gumbo. Praise God. It's just such a blessing of the Lord. So it's a day here that we give God honor for giving us this great nation. We thank him for everything he's ever done. But let me tell you something. We're going to have a lot of great uh, food on Thursday, okay? But let me tell you something. You need food in your spirit more than you need in your body. And I call it spiritual nutrition. Let me read a scripture. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4 in the old King James Version. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So the word of God has life supporting substance in it that when you receive it in your spirit, it goes and it transforms your mind and it crucifies your body. That means you, you, you I call it a healthy Christian. You listen into healthy doctrine. And you're getting healthier by the minute in the spirit world. So you're growing to the fullness of the stature of Christ. Here's another verse in John chapter 6, verse 35. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. And what he was talking about, that spiritual nutrition. Never thirst, never hunger. I'm the bread of life. I always heard a person say this. If you ever want to sell a house... You know, there's some uh, baked bread in it and let that baked bread smell. And then when people come in to look at that and they smell everything, they go, ooh, I like this house because it makes it home. Let me tell you something. Every one of us needs spiritual nutrition in every area because Satan is as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. But he can't devour someone that's healthy in the word, healthy in their body, healthy in their mind in every area. And that's what I'm talking about. So I, I want you to get spiritual nutrition. What we do here at Jesse Plants Ministries is try to give you revelation that, that, that preaching should never supersede thought. It should make you think. And when you begin to think like God thinks, the Bible says, gird up the loins of your mind. Why? Because he's got a phenomenal buffet. That's what I call it. A buffet of spiritual things that would make your spirit, man, so strong, it would totally transform again. Your mind be not conformed to this world. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's the mind, will, and emotion, and soul of man. And then your body won't fight you as much. It, you crucify it. Let me give you a prime example. If you go on a diet, now everybody hates diet. The minute you say diet, you know she get hungry. <laughs> the body goes, oh no, famine's coming. <laughs> you know, <laughs> kind of stuff. But once you say no, you will not eat that. The body will gripe a little bit, but eventually it'll slow down and go, okay. It won't get hungry. Why? You just, you just actually crucified it. What you did, it made it think like the spirit. It made it think like the mind, that your mind says, I am not going to eat this thing. And I just had that happen to me right before I come to do Faith the Fact. I love peanut butter. I don't know. I just love it. Jif, extra crunchy. I don't know. I just like it. And I walked by uh, up there, and they had some peanut butter M&Ms. And naturally, one of my uh, secretaries said, a oh, boss, you want some peanut butter? I said, I put, let me put this down. I said, I rebuke you in Jesus' name because I can't just eat one or two of them. I eat that whole jar, man. I mean, because I like it, see? But I've renewed my mind. You're not going to have that. You can't, it's not that you can't have some, but I, I'm waiting on Thanksgiving here, see? I know I'm a blow it on Thanksgiving, but that's good. There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody ought to have a good day. But you see, it's the same way with your spirit man to have spiritual nutrition. So you should never cut off your spirit man. And how do you do that? by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So tell your body every morning when you get up, by his stripes, I am healed. Even if you're not sick, even if you're not sick at all, by his stripes, I'm healed. If you begin to feel like you're not feeling saved too good, oh no, I, I am born again, I love the Lord. Say it out loud so your mind can hear what your mouth is saying. 
and that spiritual nutrition will begin to work and flow. You got family that's not saved? Say, I got the promise of my family down to a thousand generations. What I'm just giving you right now is spiritual nutrition. That's a turkey leg. You understand what I'm saying? And your, your family will come to the knowledge of God because greater is he who's in you than he who's in the world. That's what I'm talking about. Let me read it again. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Are you hearing what God is saying? Because God is talking. And all he's doing is making you grow inside. And think about it. Once you are spirit man growing, then everything's going to be fine for the rest of your life because you are spirit. Happy Thanksgiving to each and every one of them. Each and every one of your family members and to you. And we're going to have a wonderful time with my family. Well, let me tell you all about my partners. You my extended family. So when I'm eating with my family, I'm eating with you too. We love you. Faith that fact. And you'll have a great, great day and wonderful spiritual nutrition in your body, in your soul, and in your spirit. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.